If we value the pursuit of knowledge, we must be free to follow wherever that search may lead us. The free mind is not a barking dog to be tethered on a 10-foot chain. Back in the late 1700s, early 1800s time period, there was a social movement liberating the modern world from the reign of control that religion and superstition had on the people. Essentially, after our darkest part on the procession of the equinox, we were really beginning to wake up. Started making new inventions that were rapidly changing the world. The industrial era was beginning. Because of this, we began to see that maybe religion as an answer was not in our best interest, and so the movement happened. We turned to science instead to answer our questions about the universe. The only problem with this was that we grouped in many things with superstition that we probably shouldn't have. Things like consciousness, intuition, human connection, paranormal phenomenon, all of it went right out of the door with superstition, when in fact we've proven these things today to be real. So after 200 years of just going with the same idea about what's classified as superstition and what's okay to talk about, mainstream science is still going with the assumption that consciousness is just a part of the brain. They don't know how it works, they don't have a single rational explanation for it, but they keep on believing it. Why? Well, when we toss superstition out of the door, even talking about it became taboo. It's just not done. Literally, the reason that it's tough talking about this stuff in the mainstream scientific community is because that's just the way science has been for 200 years. They won't have any of it, even though there are scientific institutions that prove that theory wrong. The field of noetics and the works of biologist Rupert Sheldrake and his colleagues have more than proven mass consciousness exists and is definitely not a part of the brain. Now, no disrespect to the scientific community, but that assumption that we're still holding onto has not gotten us anywhere. It's time we begin to question the decisions of our ancestors because many